Here's a quick tip. I like to use CSS variables for a lot of properties and especially colors. Let me show you why. So in this basic project, I just have an H1 and a paragraph and I'm gonna use CSS variables to style them. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and define some inline styles and on the root element, I'm gonna define my variables. So I'm gonna say I have the blue color, which will have this hexadecimal value and I have the red and finally I'm gonna have the gray which will have this hexadecimal value. Now I could go ahead and say the H1 on my page will have a color of variable blue and the P will have a color of far red. But the nice quick tip that I wanna show you is let's go over to Chrome DevTools and reload the page. And now you see this is working as expected. But what if I don't like this red color over here where I could find the color and then just click on the square preview so I could change the color here to anything else, but that doesn't really make my app consistent. Instead, I could choose from one of these three values. And these three values over here are generated based on your CSS variables. So every time you create a CSS variable, Chrome DevTools will automatically notice that and add it to a certain palette. And this palette will allow you to have all of your CSS colors so you could easily choose between them. And that will help your app stay consistent. So let's take a look here. I could change it to gray and this is gonna use my gray color and blue, this is gonna use my blue color. There are other palettes. So this is the CSS variables palette that was loaded by default. You could also use the material palette which just shows you material colors. And you could also go with a custom palette and this allows you to manually add those colors. And this will especially make sense for bigger websites. So for example, if I go to YouTube, you would see I could find this background color over here and then these will be all of the CSS variables that are defined. Now, this is a lot. YouTube is a very, very big website, but it's just really nice to be able to see all of them over here. So that's it for this week's quick tip. There will be other quick tips in the future, so I'll see you next week.